All right, we're back again. This time we're talking about adding integers. This is lesson two of unit two. Last time we talked about what integers are and absolute values. This time we're actually going to be adding them together. So there's two basic rules with adding integers. First rule is if they have the same sign, okay, what you do is add up the integers and keep the sign. You've been doing this kind of adding your whole life, ever since you've been adding regular numbers. Two positives, add them up, keep the same sign, boom. Now, if you have two negatives, add them up, keep it negative, right? You go to the mall, spend $2 on a piece of candy, spend $4 on a big pretzel at Annie Ann's. You spend $6, boom, done. Let's do a couple examples. Do this up here. Negative three plus negative four, same sign, add them up. Three and four, make seven, keep it negative. Same sign here, they're both negatives going to be a negative answer. Six plus four, 20. Two negatives again. We're going to have another negative answer. Seven plus two, negative nine. The key with this is take your time. Make sure that you are putting the right sign. Because if you put the wrong sign or if you subtract instead of add, it will be catastrophe. Comastrophe. That's not a word, but I just said it. All right. Same thing here. Same basic principle. I'm going to skip those because... No point in doing them again. Now, if they have different signs, so here we have a positive and a negative, or a negative and a positive, you're actually going to be finding the difference. They're pulling in different directions. So when you put uh, two opposing forces together, they counteract each other. It's kind of a battle. It's like a tug of war. One side is going to win, whether it's positive or negative. Um, and in that battle, there will be uh, casualties, if you will. And that's the difference, okay? So one side's gonna win and we need to know by how much. So that's the difference, how much they win by. In this case, there's more positives, so the positive wins. How, how much they win by? Five, nine minus four is five. In this case, there were more negatives. How much did they win by? Five, negative five. Okay, it's the same basic problem, but one had a, neg more, a higher amount of negatives, one had a higher amount of positives. Let's take a look at a couple of examples here. Here we have different signs. Which one has more power? The positive, so it's gonna be a positive answer. Five minus two is three. Here, different signs. Negatives have more power now. Eight minus four is four. Make sure you circle those answers. On we go. Okay, let's take a look at these. Negative 20 and four. Negatives have more power. Different signs. 20 minus 4 is 16. Here, positives have more power, so it's going to be a positive answer. Opposing signs, 16 minus 5 is 11. Let's look at a word problem. So we have a scuba diver is 120 feet below the surface of the water. Then she ascends 83 feet. What's our current depth? So we have opposing sides. One's negative, one's positive. The negative is, is a greater amount. We subtract, we get 37. So she's still 37 feet below the water. Okay, and you can come over here and do the math. I just did that in my head. You can check it, hopefully it's right. Now, sometimes you're gonna get an addition problem where they have additive inverses or opposites. If you add these together, you get zero and it makes your problem much easier. And you can use your properties to switch the problem around to do that, which is super nice. So if I look at all these problems here, I don't see any inverses in here. But I look up here, I see an inverse here and here. Those cancel. I don't need to do anything. It's just 14. Okay, look here. Nope, no inverses there. But sometimes they do pop up. All right, looking in there, I don't see any more in there. When you have more than one, more than two uh, numbers in your addition problem, I recommend putting the two that are alike together, negative nine, bring up the four. Now you have opposition, the, the negatives are gonna win. By how much? Five. Same thing over here, you have two sets. So here it's negative 17, here it's positive 15. The negatives win by two. 